What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. How's it going, everyone, and welcome to episode 43 of the Lost Media Podcast. And today, yes, it's a piece of Lost Media that I'm sure none of you have heard of in your entire lives. It is a very obscure piece of Lost Media from Australia, and it's something that's not even regarded as lost or has a page on it for the Lost Media Wiki. It's only something that I have discovered to be lost, and I don't think anyone else is wondering where the footage is, or maybe some people are. Or maybe some people are looking for it, but it is virtually impossible to find. This is footage that you'll probably never find. Uh, It is a man who goes by the name of Fev, who was a football player here in Australia uh, for Australian rules football. And I'm already losing my audience, but trust me, this is something that you want to find. And he goes to an awards ceremony and drinks a bit too much. And the stuff he does at this awards ceremony is embarrassing to say the least. And it became a big thing in Australia, a topic of controversy at the time. But when clips of it were shown on a network panel show uh, talking about what happened, they revealed that, hey, this is uh, only what we could show you. Most of it we couldn't show you, like 70, he said 70 or 75% of it we couldn't show you. But this is only what we could show you. And there's still a lot of footage of what they show. I want to know what they couldn't show us and what's still lost. I want to know if the footage still exists. um, If this video ever gets a hold of anyone who manages the archives of the Nine Network Australia. I want to know if the actual full footage of this night does exist somewhere. Just made a weird noise. Because this is completely... mythical in Australian lost media circles, which is me. (laughs) This is something that I would love to find out if it exists or not. Um, That's all I kind of want to know because I have a feeling that there is a 0% chance of this ever being released to the public. Um, But what basically happened, to give more detail, is this guy goes on the red carpet of an awards ceremony for football and he just makes an ass of himself. He's drunk as all hell. He grabs fellow people on the red carpet who are his teammates and who are footy players kisses one guy on the lips and the guy's just like fuck it's like so close to punching him and does all this stupid crap and there's some quotable moments from this uh he (laughs) if you're watching this and you know what i'm talking about this will work so i'm going to talk about it very very briefly but he basically just yells at a player steven seagal steven seagal steven seagal steven and he just grabs his neck and goes pressure point pressure point And this has become, I just spitted while doing that. This has become very quotable in Australia. Uh, People quote this all the time when they're talking about football memes, I guess you could say. This is one of the biggest. Uh, But the lost footage, where the hell is it? Where is this lost footage? I need to know. I'm sorry, I need to know. I first saw this clip years ago. This clip of this dude drunk at the Brownlow. And I, when I first saw it, I thought, what the f*** is going on? Who is this idiot? What is he doing? Why is he making an ass of himself? Um, And it was more of a serious reaction by the co-hosts of the show. The way they kind of bumpered into it, they were extremely serious. Like they had a very worried and shocked look on their face. Uh, And the host had seen all the footage. He indicated that he had seen it because the way he said, "Uh, that's all we could show you. Uh, I'm sure he's uh, taking a long, hard look at himself today and uh, is in, in very embarrassed. But that's all we could show you from what happened. And before and after, they're all very serious, all the hosts of the show. But during the segment, it's enough to make anyone just laugh their ass off like, what an idiot, or this is hilarious, or what a legend. You know, everyone had different opinions on it at the time. But it's, it's actually quite funny watching the footage because it's just so stupid. But it makes me wonder... What did this guy do to offend? Now, there's other pieces of this night that weren't aired in that footy show segment uh, from Channel 9, which were uploaded by other cameramen on the night who posted their findings to YouTube. And it's more of a uh, unedited look at how just belligerently and grossly drunk this guy was. And they're, they're, they might have been playing behind me. They're in the description if you want to look at those. Uh, there's only like 10 seconds or 20 seconds, though. There's not enough for you to get a real 
um, behind the scenes look at it. But it fascinates me that the full footage of this guy at the Brownlow Medal, which was what it was called, the award ceremony, is somewhere in the archives at Channel 9, uh, the network which aired this and was filming on the night. Um, I wonder if it's enough to destroy this guy's career because, like I said, if they're reacting that seriously to something that's clearly not that serious, it's clearly just a joke, joking thing that happened. You know, someone kind of just made an ass of himself. I want to know what the bad footage looks like. I want to see it. I have to see this. <laughs> there is you. You can't stop me from storming into the Nine Network building and just saying, guys. I want to see the 75% of footage from that night or more actually. And I'm still making weird noises in my mouth um, that show what the audience didn't get to see. What was potentially career ending for this dude? Uh, his name's Brendan Favola, his full name. I don't think I even mentioned his full name. Um, and if you want to look at this yourself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it in the description, all clips of it. But you basically type up Fev Drunk at the Brownlow if you want to see the clips. They're in pretty poor quality. Uh, there are some versions that are in better quality, like 480, between 480 and 720. Uh, 576, I think that is. Uh, and there are other versions that are just in 144p. Because you got to remember, this is, this is the year 2009, actually. This is a freaking long time ago. So these were uploaded straight after it happened, but it's never been leaked, as I've, as you can obviously tell, the full footage of what happened that night. But um, yeah, I think if it was, this guy's career would be over because he's still a prominent radio personality in Australia. Uh, and I'm guessing he did some things that night that he would, I guess, regret and um, is probably lucky that there's no uh, live footage any, or there was no live to air coverage of just him doing his red carpet shenanigans, uh, on the night. But yeah, this is, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the aspect of this that, uh, is just the most shocking, but it's all, it's all just gross. Uh, it's all ridiculous in the footage. You can see him literally spilling his beer all over the really nice carpet in the building um it's called the crown palladium in melbourne and just completely being the sloppiest most you know completely drunk dude ever it's like you know it's just an american foot it's equivalent of american footballer just doing a really dumb thing on camera and making an ass of himself and then having to make a public apology like guys i'm really sorry i i, I did this um it's just not a reflection of what I'm really like. And in reality, it's a perfect reflection of what these people are really like. They're football stars. They're paid heaps of money to just to get drunk virtually. <laughs> no. um, yeah, if this ever gets leaked, I'm going to cover this topic again. There is no doubt about it. I have a strong feeling that it won't though. There's not enough people trying to get this leaked to the public. There's not enough people that um, I think know where the footage exists um, unedited. And I don't think there's enough people that care about it anymore. It's just a meme thing amongst uh, fans of the sport, uh, like myself, uh, who really want to find out what happened that was so bad uh, that the people hosting the show couldn't comment about, where they were just like frozen solid virtually in between showing the edited footage. Um, yeah, it's always, it's always boggled my mind and it's always intrigued me ever since I found this. And that's all there really is to it, sadly. I wish I could go on and on, and I wish I could actually not repeat myself in a Lost Media podcast recording today for once and not just stuff up this thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is something that really does intrigue me and has for many years, as, as I fucking already said. <laughs> I just want to find it, uh, but there will be no way of finding it. Or I want to find out at least if it still exists somewhere. That would be awesome. Um, obviously got another episode coming out today and more episodes coming in the future. I have more episode. I have, I have a audio commentary coming out on the weekend, which is more episode. Yeah. Uh, it's an extra episode, but it's not the lost media podcast. It's actually going to be the first video on the channel. That's not a podcast. And it's going to be an example of what the content will hopefully become one day on this YouTube channel. I don't want to just do these standalone unedited, podca unedited podcasts forever. I want to make proper content for you guys. 
um, about good topics that people are really interested in. Um, And yeah, we're going to see how we go. But the podcast hopefully will still remain in some geyser, I guess. Uh, Be sure, guys, to check out my other podcast that I'm a co-host on, the On We Talk podcast. That's always in the description and always at the end screen of every second video. It will always be there. Um, Definitely check that out. It's a comedy podcast. It's hilarious. There's a lot of fun moments, a lot of goofs, a lot of gaffes, a lot of laughs. Uh, It's really, really good. So please check that one out. Um, But until next time, unsubscribe to the channel, of course. Uh, Until next time, goodbye. That is the end of this awful. (laughs) 